This week on my layout, I installed an NCE snubber to the end of my bus lines. What a quick and easy project it was to hopefully filter out any voltage spikes that happened on my layout during an operating session. I ordered my snubbers from NCE Direct. I know there have been several articles on how you can make your own snubber, but I decided I only needed four of them. They came two in a package for $12.95. I thought this was easy just to go ahead and purchase them. There's a couple different ways you can use the snubber. In my case, I needed them just to go to the end of my bus lines. Last August, I put in the PSX4 circuit board. I did mine a little different. You can do the circuit board system in two different ways. One, it can be in one continuous bus line, or you can actually break it up into having it into power districts and break it up into four different sections. I chose to break my layout up into the four separate sections so that each district has its own circuit breaker. Along with that, I can also go back in time if I'd ever want to put a double pull, double throw on off switch so that I actually could shut down a district if I was doing scenery work on it. After I broke the line into those four different spots, I wanted to put a snubber in at the end of those bus lines that I cut. Two of the snubbers I was putting in were basically right by each other, one on the lower deck, one on the upper deck, on my return loop to the helix. And I have mine kind of hidden. If you notice that mile post marker 155.8, well, it's a great railroad display, but it also serves another purpose. When that mile marker sign is removed, I have two access holes for the upper deck and lower deck to get to trains if I need to, in case of derailments. That whole area bumps out because that is where my electrical panel is. If my electrical panel wasn't hidden behind it, it would probably be designed much differently than it is. Here's the loose ends of my bus wire. I have one above and one below from where the line was essentially cut. Because the gauge of the wire was a little heavier for what I used for my bus line and would not fit into the sockets of the snubber, the best way around that is just add a feeder wire to the ends that's much smaller, gauge wire, and then feed that right into the snubber. So I cut two small sections, soldered them to the bus line sections, and then fed them right to the snubber. The directions recommend fastening your snubber down. So I used some small wood screws and put them in and repeated this process three more times for the other snubbers I'd be putting on the layout. Once the snubbers were in, I went back and labeled them and also put what power district they were serving. I will be very curious in my next operating session with having several operators, both with tethered cabs and with radio controlled cabs, if we notice any kind of difference in the layout. I had not noticed anything prior to putting the snubbers in on the layout that was acting weird. But after attending a clinic where somebody had talked about using snubbers and was having better performance, I thought it certainly was worth a try. No harm right now can come to the railroad having the snubbers in place. So I guess this will be something I will continue to monitor at operating sessions in the future. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.